Imagine for a second that you're in a German U-boat during the height of World War II, about 300 kilometers off the southern coast of Ireland, looking for enemy supply and transport ships. It's taken about five minutes to get there from your home port of Berrien in German-occupied Norway because the open world's so big that traveling anywhere takes a while even at 6,500 times the normal speed. Suddenly, a British aircraft appears overhead and spots you. You crash dive as deep as you can without touching the seabed, but you've been caught in a shallow stretch of water and you can only go down about 50 meters. You reduce your speed and switch on the blue lights to reduce noise as much as you can and just hope that the enemy aircraft moves on. Then you hear a faint clunk, followed by a string of massive explosions as depth charges go off on either side of you. A couple of your crew members need medical attention and you've started taking on water in the forward torpedo room, so you tell your first aid trained radio operator to get to work treating the injured crewmen and get one of your engineers to try and plug the leak. You manage to stabilise the wounded crew, but you're taking in a lot of water and the leak's only getting worse. You need to rescue your engineer and close off the forward bulkhead to prevent more compartments from flooding. But if it continues to fill with water, you might not be able to make it back to the surface at all. On the other hand, if you close the bulkhead and order your engineer to stay inside to try and fix the leak, then he might drown, and he's one of your highest level sailors that's been with you since your very first mission, which might have a negative impact on your future missions instead. Those are the kind of epic, tense and difficult situations you'll find yourself in in a game called U-Boat, a submarine simulation and crew management game published by Playway, and after finally playing it after it's been sat in my wishlist since it went into early access in 2019, my only regret is not playing it sooner. See, in U-Boat you take command of a Type 7 submarine serving in the German Kriegsmarine, on a huge open world map that's almost too big to be true, and includes everything from Britain, the Mediterranean and mainland Europe, all the way across the entire Atlantic Ocean to the east coast of the United States, and even at 6,500 times the normal game speed, it still takes a good few minutes to go from A to B. Graphically speaking, it's really nice looking, and I could happily stare at the cold waves of the open ocean lapping up against the side of the boat for hours. Sound-wise, it's all good news as well, but where the game really shines is in its deep and rewarding gameplay that manages to make every engagement feel tense and every kill feel like you've really accomplished something. You can play it completely in first or third person view using one of up to seven different officers you have to take control of the critical systems on board, including manually calculating torpedo firing paths and manning the 88mm deck gun and anti-aircraft turret mounted on the conning tower, plus loads of smaller systems dotted around the ship shown with a little green cogwheel icon to make them easy to find. The game lets you automate as much or as little as you like to increase the challenge and level of realism, but even the more advanced stuff like identifying ship types using a book and calculating their speed and heading is made relatively easy by the intuitive controls and helpful in-game videos that show you what to do, not to mention the complete tutorial which, although it's a bit boring like most tutorials tend to be, it did do a great job at showing me everything I needed to know as a complete rookie. Detecting enemy ships is done using the Hydrophone, which is pretty much an early sonar device that listens for enemy propeller sounds and then flags up their rough locations on the map, which you can then travel over to until you have a sight on the target. Everything on your boat makes noise, so you have to manage which systems to turn off when you want to stay quiet. Things like the diesel engine, which you can run underwater once you unlock the snorkel upgrade are very loud and shouldn't be used if you're looking to avoid detection, and turning on the air ventilation system or water pump can alert the enemy to your rough location and bring down a bunch of depth charges on your head, which more often than not doesn't end well. There's loads of different ship types from all kinds of countries shipping stuff all over the world. If you find yourself in a good hotspot with loads of traffic, then you'll find yourself running out of torpedoes and relying on the equally effective deck gun quite regularly, though I wouldn't recommend going up against anything other than unarmed freighters without some careful planning. Enemy ships can also fly false flags of neutral countries to try to deter your attack, but my method was when in doubt, sink everything, and that seemed to work out pretty well. The crew management aspect of the game was the thing that I was most concerned about, as I'm not a big fan of having to micromanage every little detail of everyone's lives, but the game actually does most of it for you automatically, and besides being able to manually control each of your crew members and assign them to different stations as you want, you can also create a work schedule to determine who does what and when during each shift, so how much real-time management you do is really down to you. Anyway, before this review gets too long, all I can say is U-Boat is awesome. I'm really surprised by just how good it is, and I definitely recommend giving it a go if it's the type of game you think you'll enjoy, especially if you grab it while it's on one of its regular sales on Steam. I hope you found this review helpful, and if you did, then consider checking out my other videos and subscribe to the channel to get our take on some of the other games you might have lurking in your wishlist. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.